Hello dear students, happy to see you again. This question was asked in 2011 exam for two marks. The statement is consider an instruction pipeline with four stages S1, S2, S3 and S4. Each with a combinational circuit only. The pipeline registers are required between each stage and at the end of last stage. Delays for the stages and for the pipeline registers are as given in the figure. Just analyze this figure. Then they are saying, what is the approximate speed up of the pipeline in steady state under ideal conditions when compared to the corresponding non-pipeline implementation? Okay. You are required to find the speed up. And formula for speed up is time taken by non-pipeline version divided by time taken by pipeline version to execute one instruction. Okay. Or it's the time taken by old design divided by time taken by latest design or new design. So these are the four stages of pipeline. Okay. First of all, let's analyze what will happen in a non-pipeline version. First thing is non-pipeline version need not have these buffers. Okay. These buffers are only present in a pipelined version. Why? Because stages have uneven delays. So whenever a stage completes earlier than other stages, it will just place the data in a buffer. Okay. But nothing such happens in a non-pipelined implementation. That's why buffers are not required. That means non-pipelined version will take 5 plus 6 plus 11 plus 8 nanoseconds to implement one instruction. Okay. That means it comes out to be 5 plus 16 is 11 plus 11 is 22 plus 8 is 30. That means non-pipelined version is going to take 13 nanoseconds for one instruction because one instruction is going to pass through all the stages. Okay. That's why it takes 30 nanoseconds. But what happens in a pipelined version? In a pipelined version, first, first let's analyze what is going to be the stage delay. So we are going to take a common stage delay for all the stages, which is the maximum of all these. Okay. I've already told the reason multiple times, but still I'm discussing it again. If you give 11 nanoseconds to each of the stage, we can be very sure that these stages will complete their work or do their processing in 11 nanoseconds easily. Rather, every stage will be able to complete their work in 11 nanoseconds. So to just keep even delays, we assume every stage requires 11 nanoseconds. And whichever stage finishes before 11 nanoseconds, they place their data in a buffer. Okay. Now, after 11 nanoseconds, each and every stage would have placed their data in buffers because in 11, 11 nanoseconds, every stage has completed processing. That means after 11 nanoseconds, one nanosecond is required for the buffers to transfer their data. That is the buffer delay. Okay. That means pipeline version requires 11 nanoseconds plus one nanosecond. This comes out to be 30 divided by 12. Okay. And nanosecond, nanosecond gets cancelled. Let's calculate what is this. 12 ones are, 12 twos are 24. And we are left with 6. That is 12 into half. 2.5. So your speed up in this case is 2.5. That means pipeline version enhances the speed by 2.5 times. Now, one thing that you need to know is that we are calculating the time period of clock, which is 11 plus 1. How am I saying that one instruction is going to require these many seconds? That is 
बिकॉज ऑफ द रीजन दे हैवेंट गिवन नंबर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन वेन दे हैवेंट गिवन एनी नंबर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन यू कैन एज्यूम इनफाइनाइटली मैनी इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट मीन्स फॉर अ वेरी लार्ज प्रोग्राम एंड फॉर अ वेरी लार्ज प्रोग्राम यू कैन ऑल्सो एज्यूम एवरेज सी पी आई इज इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज एज वी कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द नंबर ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन एवरेज सी पी आई कीप्स ऑन कमिंग क्लोजर टू वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर ओनली वन इंस्ट्रक्शन the average cpi will be 4 because it requires to pass through all four instructions for two instructions what is going to happen is for two instructions five clocks will be needed that means the average cpi is 2.5 5 divided by 2 now you can see for one instruction average cpi is 4 for two instructions average cpi is 2.5 For three instructions, let's see. Average CPI will be. Average CPI now is two. Okay, you can see when we keep on increasing this, the average CPI will touch one. Okay, it will be one point something zero zero zero. You can assume it to be one. Now, because every instruction takes one clock, you can easily say that one instruction takes twelve nanosecond because time period of clock we have already calculated twelve. 11 plus 1. So your answer here is 2.5. Okay, so one point that I need to discuss is this line in question. What is the approximate speed up of pipeline in steady state under ideal conditions? In steady state under ideal conditions. Under ideal conditions means there are no dependencies whatsoever. That means we don't need to introduce stalls in the pipeline. and under steady state means we are executing a very large number of instructions that's also a reason why i assumed average cpi to be one by the way even if they don't mention such things if load is not given that means number of instructions are not given simply you can assume average cpi to be one 